All right, welcome back. Let's see the Good Morning Ninja show. And we just finished our uh, newspaper uh, segment. So we'll go look through the things we did on top newspaper. At least we don't analyze what the things we did here and uh, give on a better insight on the newspaper uh, headlines as, as it be. Well, we promise when I say we get special guests, we will join us inside studio. Uh, but in no day here, in day via Skype, uh, you wouldn't say we see they follow some kind of protocols based on uh, the COVID-19 things. And uh, it did good. So also feel they reach out to people from where they did and they will see get better conversation. We will speak to Emmanuel Michael, now human resources leader and mentor. And we will discuss a lot we need to know about uh, finding the balance uh, between hard and soft skills for a better new year. Oga okay, Michael, welcome to the Good Morning Ninja Show. How are you doing? Thank you very much. Uh, I'm doing good. Uh, I say I did very well. <laughs> <laughs> now, as we, we say, the smile. It be like say things don't soft for the beginning of the year for you as it be because people they talk say to start this in January sometimes they go the front. But it be like say you the soft. Everything they okay. Say na so it be. You know, say when you start the new year with smile, then you go end up with smile. Confirm. But if you start the front your face, then they say. Our friends, you're going to see every day now. <laughs> so in order not to see friends every day, start it with a smile and end it with a smile. Right. So people are saying that uh, maybe this year is one of the worst year. Mm. If you decide on your own, say this year is going to be your best year ever. That's what it will be for you. That's all right. That's all. Okay, we we'll enter into this talk about, you know, how to balance soft and hard skill for one to get a new year. First of all, they wonder, say, hard skills, soft skin. And when we say you sweat, when we say you don't go sweat. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. uh, for what you may understand, of course, the soft skill, we know they talk about intelli you know, intelligence quotient here. We know they talk about um, your ability to take uh, the code on codes, mm -hmm. the skill where you get. So they talk more of, um, call them maybe in things you say enough you touch, let me put it that way. Um, emotional intelligence. Yeah. That kind of thing, the issue of yeah. teamwork and whatnot. Then, of course, your hard skills that always say you don't acquire over time, either through practice or through apprenticeship or, you know, through your education. But so, got to talk about, you know, how to find this right balance. First, you go say, but now the normal, normal way we they see now, for every website they work, you go balance what you don't learn from school with your emotions, yeah. which will help you interact with other people. Uh, maybe we discuss this yeah. topic under this new normal way we say we get now, this new pandemic uh, issue. When we say day, um, how important you feel say this balance day at a time like this? When we say most people now they don't require to work for space where they're going to get human to human interaction. When we say people now don't they work remotely from their houses? Mm -hmm. um, how important wow. you feel say this same balance of soft skill and hard skill still day for this new era? I think that at this particular time, the balance is very critical okay because that is what would uh, differentiate you from any and every other employee or job applicant when you are able to balance both technical and the soft skill what it does for you as an employee is that it builds your confidence to be able to deliver on that job uh, hard skills yes you need that to be able to do the job okay to get the job done but soft skills are the skills that will help you work with people. And especially during this particular time where we the uh, lockdown, people, they work from their homes. Mm -hmm. You need to be able to know how to relate with your team members, okay, for you to get your job done. Mm -hmm. If you're not able to relate with your team members, it means that you will be on your own. You will not be able to get jobs done because you need to talk to one, two, three people uh, to get your job done. There is no job that anyone does that they will start from the beginning to the end on their own and then say that they've delivered. So there will always be a need for you to relate it up, upwards or downwards or sideways, okay, mm -hmm. uh, to be able to get that job done. So that's what makes you what we call an all-round employee or an all-round candidate when you are looking for a job. So that balance is very, very critical. Hmm. Hmm. But uh, uh, it, can't, uh, it can't be like say most people they just they focus on the hard skills part because if you say uh, if I want I, I, I apply for a job they go ask me what I don't do how I don't do and where I don't do and nobody they ask me about how can you relate with a couple of people and how can, how effective are you in a team so people they focus only more on the hard skills uh, 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 so they acquire hard skills 
Say how you feel. Uh -huh. Say uh, the, the, this issue take be. You feel say um, is, is, is they okay for person to focus on that one alone for a while? Then when they enter the work, you can they learn how to the um, build the soft skills. Or you go need to sabi soft skill first before you go say okay. You won't even begin to push for the hard skills. Okay. So what happens is when organizations or HR managers or recruiters want to recruit yeah. any uh, candidate to work for them, the first a major thing that they actually look for is the attitude. You know, there is a saying that uh, your atti attitude will determine your altitude. Yeah. So your attitude will determine your altitude. If your attitude is zero and you know how to do the job well, you are not a good employee. So most people who decide to say, okay, they want to master the hard skills. Let's say, for instance, you are a driver. Okay? You master how to drive very well. So you have a good skill on how to drive. But the uh, soft skill there is how do you relate with people on the road where you are driving? Are you always claiming right, or do you try to be considerate of the other person who is driving on the road? That is what will help your car not to be bashed. But if you're always maintaining, I know how to drive, and you insist on your ride all the time, you will discover that your car will be bashed. So for that particular driver, he's a good driver, but he lacks the uh, right attitude. So he will continue to fail. Now, for you to even service your car, when you go to meet the mechanics or in the office, people who are going to help you to approve for you to go and service your car, yeah. how do you relate with them? If your relationship is not good, then you don't know how to talk. Because part of the soft skill is communication. How do you communicate? Mm -hmm. You know, there is a way I will ask you a question now, or I will say something to you. Yeah. You will feel I'm yeah. insulting you. But there's a way I will also say, maybe if I say thank you, there's a way I will say thank you to you. That thank you will look like an insult, even though it's supposed to be a, a gratitude. So those are the soft skills. These uh, soft, uh, hard skills, yes, you can learn them in school. But soft skills, it's a lot of practice. You know, you try and fail, try and fail. Yeah, you begin to learn how to behave in a certain environment. And each time you move to a new environment, you need to also adjust because each person where you meet, they don't behave the same way. So you need to relate with people differently, just like I saw for the day studio now. Yeah. There is a way you will uh, relate with your colleague and she'll be excited with you. There's a way you relate, she will not want to work with you. Sometimes some people will say, I'm just here for the work, I don't want to make friends. Mm -hmm. You will notice that those people just say, I'm just here for the work, I'm not ready to make friends. They don't go very far. They're not able to be promoted to a leadership role. So for you to move from just doing the manual, manual job to a leadership role, you need the soft skill. Without okay. the soft skills, you just stop at that point. Um, Ogaima, um, make we understand this soft skill matter very well. As person, they hear you now. Uh, for the back of my, for the back of their mind, they go say, "I have say, I serve is safe." They follow. We follow be soft skill mm. because uh, we don't enter organizations when we say, um, you know, if you know, how we talk on, if you know, massage certain people' ego, you know. If you know um, express how we talk, if you don't pretend to get excited, today, yeah, yeah. If you don't pretend about their personality or whatever else that they do, um, you don't go move anywhere. Make I just talk. I did we get this conversation with one of my big bros, uh, blessing on Friday, and I've been telling them reason where we say I become freelance journalist. journalist I tell them yeah. say I know if stand office politics. And anytime you say no way, we say you okay. go, go we say office politics. No, so as you talk that statement, we say some people go say I came here to work. Mm -hmm. I don't want to make friends. People when we say you don't already do organization where your hard skill they speak for itself. For, for itself, yeah. Even soft skill you they blend with people, right? But um, as I my big brother talk say, he been did that position, and he been get one boss where we say don't just like him at all. That boss they responsible for in promotion throughout that company. Uh, one international company mm. come meet them, come interview them for a particular role. One of the traits where we say they take like and for, we say, they say they like in, I don't go call and say cockiness, um, the confidence where in carry. Not be saying into know the work very well, but in get this confidence. And we won't take the answer to their questions. They say they walk out, go back, mm. go tell their guys, say, we need this guy, we need to send and come to London um, to come, uh -huh. deals, come do training one year. Your guys say, no, they go anyway. The company say, we go uh -huh. pay. Even when you come manage, even Waka again, the Oga with the Lagos here block him so many times. So at that point, you come to ask and say, so what do you for do for that kind of person? 
Do you get my point? Uh, so because in a time we say you, if you say you they do your best, if you say you they relate, what yeah. person if you just sit down, not just, not just like, like you. you. And you get people when we say they're not they wired to do eye service or to come they rub you for back for any kind of reason. So how do you manage such if that one day very either on a prerequisite for your growth for company? How you want to do them? Okay, so eye service is not the same thing as uh, soft skill. It's all right. Yeah? Okay. Eye service is not the same thing as soft skill, yes. So uh, if you get a guy with the say, you know, to like you, he's always blocking your way. Uh, what you can actually do uh, is one to try to have a conversation with him or her to understand what is it that you are doing that is making them behave uh, to you, towards you in that particular Money. fashion. Mm -hmm. Because one other thing is that. Uh, Sometimes, you know, we do our work very well, but if the person you are reporting to sees that you are trying to outshine them, That's a problem. they feel threatened. So it's that fear. Yeah. Yeah. That one said that, fear that makes them to say, ah, this person wants to outshine me, let me bring them down. Mm -hmm. So what do you then do yeah. to overcome this? Is when you've noticed that your guy is that kind of person. When you have an idea of what you want to implement or recommend, pass it to him. Those people that are usually the blockers, make them feel to understand that uh, this thing you are trying to recommend, show them how it will benefit them to help promote them. Uh, okay, so they man, see that that this is the way you talk, so okay, yes. man, I'm sorry to cut you, but some kind of times, we, we, that <laughs> kind of thing happen. If you go pass and through him now, tell him, say you get an idea. Mm -hmm. And this guy can't carry yes. that idea. Come go present them, like say Naim put the idea, package the idea, come outside to drop the idea. You know, go even tell them, say, if follow you talk, now you come up with this yes. idea. But how did how okay. you would they handle no, that? I know what make I make I make no better God, make I just add small soup on top. <laughs> Man, add small soup on top there, but we say um, they will just drop right now. <laughs> uh, I don't enter situation where we say I even give the idea tell and say collect them as your own. Yes. My mom will say I just yeah. want to make my work they move mm. because I don't clearly see say as in Sudan there so guy no sabi anything. So collect the solution, mm. prefer the solution. Yes. Make it for help our work they go. I'm not very sitting inside the matter. It's clear because the person feel just sit down, they say, this girl, why, why they give me all this kind why, of idea? Why they feel like saying you know too much? It's only a matter of time. She's going to take over. Yes. Okay, how one do one? How we enter do you do We enter fasting and prayer. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, um, you know, there's so much that we can do as uh, an individual. So if you've done your best, mm. okay, then it means and it's still not working. It therefore means that that environment cannot contain you. Okay. That environment cannot contain you. Uh, and so, but, but one thing I know is that if you are able to recommend the idea to your guy and he agrees to it, what that does for you is that whenever he needs to do something, because he doesn't have the total initiative, he wasn't the one that brought up the initiative. Yeah. If he gets stuck, he will always look for you. So it means that you become his or her go-to person mm -hmm. whenever they are trying to present that idea. So that's what that one will be. But if you have a situation where this person doesn't really want your progress, mm -hmm. then I think we need to look at the whole organization. It means there's a problem with the whole organization. Who does he or she report to? What is the culture in that organization? Mm -hmm. is to promote excellence. Okay, they will identify that particular person because I've had a situation whereby uh, we have one sales manager. The sales manager is very good. He brings in the numbers, but he's always at loggerhead with his team members. At the end of the day, when we now we are looking for uh, the, pos the position of hiring somebody or promoting one of the senior managers to become the MD of that particular organization, what happened? Because of that attitude of that senior manager, yes, they can deliver the numbers, but they are not able to manage their team members. They are always frustrating people. Yeah. And so one thing you need to know is that everybody is seeing what is going on. Yeah. Yeah. So don't think that people are not seeing. People are seeing it. And that thing that affected this person. This particular person was never promoted to that position mm. uh, of becoming the MD of that particular position. And that was how they lost that. And even each of the meetings, it was pointed out to this particular candidate or this employee that this is why we are not giving you the position. Because we've tried to train you. Yeah. You know, you send this person for training to see if their attitude can change. They will change for one week and then they will go back to their old self. Okay? 
So when you have such a situation, the best thing is actually to yank them off the system if mm -hmm. your organization's culture is to excel. Oh, Thank uh, you very I much. Am, I'm I'm sorry, I'm, 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 ask this final one now. May not be like say because I know say this will be good. Yeah. So, share to the organization now. Since you yeah. you be you be expert for that, you they help people they recruited. So the organization now, which one they important? The person where they bring the numbers, we no get soft skills. And the person we get soft skills, we not to they bring the, the numbers. What in the organization go? Oh. The truth is that the two of them are important. Ah. If you are bringing the number, yes, because they all have consequences. If you are bringing the number, yes, you are not. Uh, uh, the, your interpersonal skills are not good, mm -hmm. okay, or they are not great. Yeah. What happens is that your success will be for a short term. Okay. So, and people, organizations want to grow for a long term. So, if you want your success to last long, that interpersonal skills or soft skills, as we call it, is very, very critical. So, it's actually the number one. So, the soft okay. skill about how to sell, bring the number, we can teach you how to bring the numbers. But well, we cannot teach you attitude. We can't teach you manners. Mm. We can't teach you how to work with him. Okay? We can't teach you how to have that problem-solving ability. Yeah. We can't start teaching you uh, critical thinking in the workplace. We can't start teaching you leadership, how to lead your team. We can't start teaching you time management. Okay? We can't start teaching you how to communicate. It will take a long time. So you need to have acquired this thing as you are growing up while in school, while in your initial pieces of work, begin to apply this and read books and see, look at examples of how people who are successful, what are the things that they do, aside from actually doing the job. You know, for you to achieve anything, you need to walk through people, like I said, yes. in the beginning. Yes. There's no way you will uh, work on your own without uh, getting people to help you achieve what it is. So like the hard skills now, okay? The hard skills are, what I would say, they have defined rules. Let's I'll talk about the driver. This is where you come in the morning. This is what you do. You open the door, you check the engine, check this, check that, so you. So there are there is a, a specific rule for it. But for soft skill, there is no set rule. Each time you need to keep adapting. So the way I will relate with you might not be the way I will relate with the other person. So yeah. differences are different. So that's why soft skill is critical for you to be emotionally aware. How is a behavior? affecting the person who is working with me. Is it helping us to achieve our goal? In every organization, we know that there is one goal for us to achieve the goal of that person. Maybe it's to make money, maybe it's to help the society, maybe it's to help the community. How do I relate with my team member to ensure that whatever I feel does not hinder him or her hmm. from helping to achieve it? All right. Uh -huh. So that is... That <laughs> Thank you very much, Elga Imane, for this conversation we don't get today. And we know say we'll still carry on with this one because people get plenty, plenty things regarding this matter. Uh, but uh, because of time, we're going to need to um, wrap them up for here. But as you say, Tokam, uh, you don't put the soft skills ahead of the hard skills based on what you're going to need to do. You talk and say, if you want to go far, uh, now you're going to need to, yes. to, to really make sure, say, your soft skills, they all right. Before you go take, use your hard skills, take care, you go, go where they go. This conversation will get this money. It makes sense. And I believe people don't watch this one. They don't write down things that they need to do to take face this year. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Emmanuel, uh, Michael, for this conversation. We will definitely do this one very soon again to take an uh, answer.